To determine the derivative of f of x equals 2 cosine x sine x, we need to recognize this as a product of two differentiable functions. So the first function will be 2 cosine x, which we'll call f, and the second function will be sine x, which we'll call g. The product rule states the derivative of f times g is equal to f times g prime plus g times f prime, or the derivative is equal to the first function times the derivative of the second plus the second function times the derivative of the first function. So we'll have f prime of x is equal to the first function, which is 2 cosine x, times the derivative of the second function, the derivative of sine x is cosine x, plus the second function, which is sine x, times the derivative of the first function, and the derivative of 2 cosine x would be negative 2 sine x. So we have f prime of x is equal to 2 cosine squared x. This is going to be minus 2 sine squared x. So we applied that product rule correctly here, and there aren't any like terms, but in many textbooks this would not be what you find in the back of the book as the correct answer. While this derivative function is correct, it can be simplified by doing a trig substitution. Notice how these two terms have a common factor of 2. So if we factor out the 2, we would have 2 times the quantity cosine squared x minus sine squared x. Now in this form, you may recognize the identity that we can use. Be careful this is not a sum, so it's not equal to 1, but it is equal to cosine 2x, using the double angle identity here for cosine. So we can rewrite this derivative as 2 times cosine 2x. And more than likely, this is the answer you'd find in the back of a textbook. So when determining derivatives involving trig functions, don't panic if your answer doesn't match what a textbook says is correct, because sometimes you'll find they'll perform a trig substitution to simplify the function further. I hope this was helpful.